Thatgame.com, all the game you want and then some. I mean, your eyes and the teeth. You're not really supposed to do that, are you? <coughs> not if I can avoid it. Holly's sister, Lily. I just don't know what Bigby's doing. If he, if he cares about it, if he even gives a shit. That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? We're destroying the tree. No! We're not burning the tree, Snow. Hey. You're not really gonna send me to the farm, are you? Look, uh, maybe a few will get sent up, but you're my friend, Colin. I wouldn't do that to you. Oh God, Bigby! This time was no joke. Eat as many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart, and the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. Bigby, wait! When you get the Crooked Man, make sure you bring him back alive. He has to stand trial. Why don't you have a seat, Sheriff? We have a great deal to discuss. And if my envoys are correct, you haven't had a lot of rest recently. Please, Sheriff, relax for a moment, will you? Do you want a drink? Something to eat? Vivian makes a very nice, very... It's elegant. Really, a carpaccio. It's lobster. Sirloin. Don't misunderstand the situation here. We? Oui? are not friends, and you're in no position to offer me anything. On the contrary, Sheriff. And I don't wish to contradict you here, but your initiative and mine have been friendly for a long while now, ever since I came aboard these shores. You know, Fable Town's been very accommodating of my humble ventures. Never said a bad word, and that relationship's worked till these ends. So why impair what's thus far been such an agreeable union? What do you think you're doing? He's gonna! Mr. Wolf is our guest, and I have every intention of cooperating. So don't waste the silver. Sit down, Jersey. Well, Sheriff, for the sake of transparency, why don't you tell us why you're here? It would help settle everyone's nerves, I think. You're destroying this town. You've been doing it for ages. Destroying this town? What on earth do you mean? What the hell do you think I mean? Slavery? Kidnapping? Extortion? Murder? What would you call the wholesale corruption of Fabled Town? I would call it the baseless accusation of a desperate sheriff. How are you certain this isn't some conspiracy against me? I'm a well-connected man, 
well moneyed. Don't try to play me. It won't work. I'm not trying to control you. I have no need for treachery, Bigby. I do everything right out in the open. But I can understand the confusion. And I'm truly sorry about the trouble all this has caused you. And I hope you believe me when I say, Sheriff, that I sincerely mean to make it up to you. The recent murders that have gotten such attention as of late, I don't relish telling you that they were perpetrated by an employee of mine. It's a very unfortunate bit of business, but I promise you that the matter will be dealt with internally. I just want to settle the issue for you and to assure you that it's over with. You really don't need to worry yourself further. I already know who did it. Forgive me, Sheriff, for doubting your acumen, but who do you think committed these crimes? It's been a long couple of days for you. It was Georgie, all right. Well done, Sheriff. I'm sorry I doubted you. However, like I said, I'll be handling the matter if you don't mind. Yeah, I killed him, so what? You should have just kept your nose where it fucking belonged. Why'd you do it? Why kill them? Does it matter? Look, the fact is, George here misinterpreted one of my instructions. Misinterpreted? And I want to make things right. So, let's work something out. What's there to work out? I'm protected, aren't I? Your protection has limits, and I think you've far exceeded yours. But you could murder someone in cold blood like that. You fucking asked me to do this! And you then told attempt me to, to kill blame me for it. You will be silent while we discuss what to do with you. This is right, bollocks, sis. You're just gonna let him do this? So what do you say, Sheriff? Can we discuss terms? You can have Georgie. Consider it a gift. Ensuring our continued cooperation. I think I'll be taking both of you. You're not taking me, you fucking punts. What the fuck is this shit? You said you'd cover for us. For minor infractions, not murder. Just go with him, Georgie. You're gonna sink us all. What's wrong with you people? You're really gonna sell him out just like you that? You think I give a fuck if I'm the one... Who the shit do you think you fuckers are? Get the fuck out of here. I do apologize, Sheriff, but I think it's best if you leave now. There's no way I'm going with him. Are you kidding me? Things are about to get unpleasant, and I would rather you weren't here to watch. You can go join that whore at the bottom of the lake for all I give a shit, but he's not taking me anywhere. I'll roll over on the lot of you before I let that shit happen. What are you saying? I already told you. I'm taking both of you in, so let's go. This could have gone so well. To speak the truth, I've never been a very good mediator. Why negotiate when you can just decide? <laughs> Did I miss anything good? Well, look at you all fixed up. <laughs> To say it was nice knowing you, but I'll be glad to see your insides turned out. Got him! Now! I know. 
gonna do now, eh, Vivian? What the fuck do you expect me to do? This is it for me. You know that. <laughs> Nothing left. <laughs> no way I'm walking out of here. Too late, Bigby. She's dead. What the fuck happened, Georgie? What's it look like? I'm really not in the mood, Bigby. <coughs> so why don't you just fuck off? Start <coughs> talking, Georgie! <sighs> oh, you think that'll help? I told you I don't want to fucking talk. Especially not with a piece of shit like you. If you don't talk, you're gonna end up like her. I didn't do shit to her! She killed herself! She did it! Just pulled her ribbon off, right there. Didn't fucking matter what I said. She always did what she wanted. She just... Right in front of me. Why the hell would she do that? <laughs> she said she'd... had enough. She couldn't live with what she'd done. She's the original Big Bit. The girl with the ribbon. Couldn't take it off. Couldn't talk about it. We used hers to make the rest. It started as part of the gimmick, right? Discretion is our guarantee. You know, she came up with that. It was her idea. Whoever thought it would end this way. It was her idea? What do you mean? Why would she want to be involved in this? It all starts the same way for all of us. 
We come here to escape, but all we find is even more shit. What were we supposed to do? We did it away to make a living. Figured this was as good as any, but then everything went to shit. This was just the final fucking straw. She felt responsible for Faith and Lily. <coughs> what her ribbons did to them. Said she'd rather die on her own terms. For something good. Or at least something close to it. So she ended it. Oh, it didn't matter if that left me to deal with this fucking mess. We promised we'd look out for each other. So what the fuck is this? I don't feel sorry for you, Georgie. Of course you don't. <coughs> Look, I know you think it's my fault, that I killed him for some twisted pleasure of mine, but I... <coughs> I did what I had to. You don't always get a choice. Sometimes you just have to do what you're told. You didn't have to do anything. Like hell I did. Some of the girls decided to pull a runner on us. 